and Carter Nation. Hope you had a great Monday. For today's video, we're going to hit on studs and duds for Sunday. We're also going to go over a binder that I've been working on from 2018 Tops Update. Um, I realized from you know all the rookie hunting and hitting up all the sales at Walmart that I have almost a complete set. So I just want to give you a look at what that binder ended up looking like. Um, we'll also finish off with maybe not the rest of the 2018 update videos, but at least some of them so you can see where these cards came from. So I hope you enjoy the episode. We've got some big ones planned um, coming up, especially with the home season um, starting down here for the minor leagues on Thursday. So tomorrow's video, just to give you a sneak peek, we're going to go over how I set up um, my system to do autographs, both with how I acquire the player information so I know who to look for because some of what I'll get are actually after the game when the players are back in their street clothes heading out for the evening so how I can identify players that way plus how you can set up either binders or different options that you'll have so that you know you can do some in-person autographing when you go places Actually, speaking of sets, I forgot to put this in the intro. I got a package today from one of our um, good viewers and fans of the channel, um, good friend Joe. Um, so let's look and see what he sent. The okay, one thing Joe sent our direction was, for those of you that saw one of the recent videos, you saw him working on the 2019 opening day set. Um, just because... Well, you all know the reason the 2019 sets have such a special place um, for me is that was um, I, um, helped Tops with a signing they were doing um, to get Chris Taylor into the Series 2 autographs, his 1984 inserts, which is why I'm collecting the 84 inserts, but why I wanted to collect the opening day set because 2019 is the first season that I got to... Um, Help do some freelance work with tops. So he put some fillers in here again. There's some more show codes, which I do have 18, so that's pretty awesome to get those. He also, some of the fillers he included, I found interesting too. Um, some of these cool leaf football cards. I'll, I really like the, um, the All American, I think it's cool. So I'll just go through these just because I think they're still pretty cool. Um, they'll go with the other football stuff I have. And then if anybody enjoys football or sends stuff in and likes football or requests football um, for things that they send in or Hope Solo. Anyway, these are the Panini Americana set, which I haven't seen any of these. Um, but these are, you know, athletes from other sports as well as like pop culture icons. I'm not sure what Rose McGowan was. And, okay, she was in Charmed. Yep, never saw that. She looks familiar. Gretchen Rossi, Real Housewives of Orange County. Yep, I would not, I would not recognize her. Ava Gardner. But yeah, these are just um, pretty cool too. Um, they might be good through the mail. I, I haven't checked on those. I may look and see if any of those celebrities sign through the mail, because those would be the perfect things to send. Because photos are just pretty large but here's the bulk of it you got a cool Juan Soto home run challenge card Will Hudgens first Bowman um, this is the 2012 Bowman draft you can't tell the BDPP that's Bowman draft um, draft picks and prospects so you can tell the sets um, that way I got Screech I've been looking for this one out of opening day really happy to get him I've pulled some mascots but I've never pulled the Screech mascot and then the rest of these, I'll just go through them quickly. Again, I like that opening day puts them in their new jerseys. But again, these are just um, Joe saw at the end of one of my opening day videos that there were some cards from the set that I still needed. So he sent me some of these. Really like Nolan Arenado. Um, but these are just really awesome. I really appreciate it, Joe. Um, I've got some stuff set aside already I'm going to send up to you. But there's a few other things I want to pull um, for the Orioles to send up your direction. So I just really, 
I really appreciate it. I think it's super awesome. I mean, because opening day, it's not like an incredibly expensive product, especially for those of you looking to set collect. You can get a blaster with 11 packs for um, UC Kikuchi. With, um, a blaster with 11 packs for $10. And there's 200 cards in the set. It's got all the stars. It's got the rookies. So it's a pretty cool set to um, collect. Um, so I appreciate you sending those. I think there's only a few I need still, I think you said. Um, so I'll put an update. Um, I may just do an overlay um, over the image um, so you all can see which ones are still left. Um, and then I think I'm going to end up putting the 2018 update um, remainder of the cards that are left there in case anybody has any extras um, out of that that they want to trade because um, I definitely have a lot of extras from that set, some different foil, things like that. Um, but, um, that's that's just super nice. I can't get over um, the generosity right there. So just thank you, Joe. Now let's hit up today's studs and duds. It's time for another episode of Studs and Duds. Let's jump into today's studs and duds. We'll get right into it because... With stud hitter, there was really only one pick based on Sunday's games. Gary Sanchez is going to be the selection. He DH'd on Sunday, went three for six, three runs scored, six RBI. He hit three home runs against the Orioles as the Yankees defeated Baltimore 15 to three. Stud batter could go a couple different ways. Jorge Soler and Eric Thames. Both went 0 for 4 with 3 strikeouts, but I'm going to go with Thames solely because in addition to his 3 strikeouts, they were in very clutch moments. He stranded 3 runners on base when every time Soler came to the plate, the bases were empty, so his strikeouts were important, just not as meaningful as Thames's. Stud pitcher is going to go to someone who's pretty much turned back the clock on their career. At least yesterday, Adam Wainwright's going to be the pick as the Cardinals defeated the Padres 4-1. to He picked up the victory through six innings, allowed just five hits, one run which was earned, no walks, struck out nine through 100, 100 pitches in those six innings. Big game from Wainwright. He'll look to see if he can keep it rolling as his next start should be in Cincinnati. As for dud pitcher of the day, I hate to go back to the Nationals as they're my team, but the bullpen ERA has been above 10 this season. Joe Ross is going to be the dud of the day. He entered in the ninth inning trying to close it out, almost blew it for the Nationals, who almost gave up a 12-1 to lead. He only registered one out, walked a guy, hit a guy, and then surrendered a three-run homer, almost letting the Mets come all the way back, forcing the Nationals to go to Sean Doolittle in what should have been a blowout 12-1. to You should not have needed your closer in that game when you're up 11 in the seventh inning. So anyway, let's go take a look at the binders from 2018 Tops Update and 2019 Opening Day. And thank you for tuning in to Studs and Duds. Okay, so here's what the opening day binder looks like. Pretty nice as you can see. There's very few holes in there. I was able to get all the cards that Joe sent over. Put in the binder. I think there's 10 left out of the 200 in the set. So I'll post um, what I still need from that one. In case anybody has anything, any um, doubles they'd like to send my way. And now let's look at um, and now let's look at the 2018 update binder. Okay, so here's how the update binder's doing. I figured I'd actually make an official one with the set after I'm getting so many packs over the last couple months. Um, as you can see, this one has more holes in it than the opening day one. There's more cards in this set as well. I think I'm down to around 20, which isn't bad for as many cards that are in this set. You can see there's some openings there, 
But overall, it's looking pretty nice. These are actually the first two that I've actually tried to complete have been opening day from this year in the 2018 update. So I'll post um, a list of what I still need from this one as well. Is there any sets that you're currently working on trying to complete? Leave it in the comments. Um, feel free to take a look at this. Happy collecting. Hope you have a good rest of the week.